Hey, look, before you wax, girl, I'm down for whatever, uh. You ain't gotta say it, I know I do it better, huh? Loving you like ain't nobody out on my level up. I'ma give it to you like it's now or it's never, uh. Hey, come over, baby, let me do something. I know you need this escape, boy. I'm in love with you all day by my side. You got my heart out. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so. What's up, y'all? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, happy midnight, happy 3 a.m. Whatever time it is for you, it's a good time to be up because obviously you're listening to this. I want to shout out the friends that I have overseas. Let's shout out Nairis in Saudi Arabia. Let's shout out Doc in Australia. Um, Let's shout out Elaine in California. Jack in Tennessee. DJ Cyclops in Texas. And if you're under the sound of my voice listening in the Canada area, British Columbia, and then another name that I can't say, (laughs) shout out to you two for listening. I'm going to try to shout out a few people so y'all know, like, I see y'all every single time. So, guys, I've been in my head a lot lately, and... Like the last episode, the end of it, it could be just because I'm coming off of a great weekend and not saying I don't have anything to look forward to, but like my life is so, excuse me, it's just so different right now and I'm trying to adjust like as far as my weight is concerned, as far as with like my toes healing, they're actually, they're, they're looking, they're looking good. It's just going to take a minute for everything to come back. (laughs) I'm excited about it. It's a timing thing. And I should be looking at my feet as a testament to the rest of your body is going to get back in 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 sync soon. But like the one thing that frustrates me the most about myself is I feel like my inconsistency. I've always had a great work ethic and that's because I've always been able to follow behind a system that's already been created or we've partnered with someone and I had a goal to meet. But when I'm trying to partner with myself, it's like, like, what are you doing? And, and I believe that that could be a reason why in my music arenas or in my music circles, why a lot of higher ups or a lot of peers, maybe they're not my peers because I don't know them like that, but a lot of people, their, their comments are, and even some people abroad that kind of just watch me online, maybe that's why they say that she seems to be all over the place because there is no focus and it's not because I'm doing everything meaning like I have my disciplines music dance art and my podcast not to say that there's anything wrong with that because you see a lot of people first person that came to mind was like Steve Harvey he was a comedian I don't know if he did some movies but maybe he did but a comedian that he's on like Family Feud you know, in and, and his talk show, stuff like that, you have your Kiki Palmer, who she does music, she's an actress, and you know, there's, you can do many things. You don't have to have one source of income, and it's even highly suggested. So when it comes to me, why is it that I'm being viewed as I'm all over the place, there's no focus, where is she, I don't really know where to put her, and because of that, they don't know how to handle me. Some people just kind of, they just go hands off, right? How do I remedy that? How do I stop that? That's the big question. I'm very versatile. When I go to my job, uh, which is my focus as far as like making money, that's, that's a focus. There's a system that I've gone behind and I can execute it very well in reference to being a mother. There's a system that's been set in place by the NICU. I can follow behind that. I can check up and check in with my pediatrician and we can go forth. And and I have my village and we all we go together. Boom. And that's that's how that works. But in reference to myself, I'm just following behind like, okay, I'm a mom, so I'm gonna do this. Oh, you guys go to Bible study, okay, I'm gonna do that. Oh, 
I like to tune in and kiki with my friends. So let me check in on Instagram and see what's going on. Oh, I'm a part of music, my label 646 Entertainment. So let me tune in when we have our Zoom meetings every week. Oh, we have dance on Thursdays. Okay, let me do that. Oh, I do double dutch, you know what I'm saying, on Saturdays. Let me do that. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, so these are things that I've become a part of because of my likes, my interests, and the things that I'm good at. But what is it that, and I, I, you know, on my site, I call it, you know, MissTiffanyJ.com, all things Tiffany J. You can go there. But what am I offering you? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the question. And I guess, I don't know, it makes me upset because I'm like, I have all these ideas, all these ideas. And I never just sit down. Like, I can write it out all day, y'all. I write it out all day. I, I even had a plan, oh, I want to paint again. And the last time I painted, I spent like 16 hours on a piece. You know, it was broken up into two sessions. But like, I was like, I can't do that, you know, because I got to go to work and I got my kid and everything. So I was like, okay, cool. So what can you do to get back into your painting? I was like, okay, because right now, literally, it's 420 in the morning. Why? Because I ain't got to go to work till 2 p.m. And there we go. That's inconsistent. And it could be because my job is inconsistent. But let's get back on track. So what I'm saying is I had an idea. Oh, okay, you have a hard time getting your day started right you want to get a hard stop by six o'clock in the morning you want to wake up clean your bottles take a shower get your clothes together get her together to get ready for wherever y'all gotta go whether you gotta drop her off to your mom and then get ready to go to work or you just do the first feed and go back to sleep and then so if if that's gonna be your hard stop so you could be at work on time every day then maybe an hour before that at 5 a.m you have your paint station everything is already set up and all you need to do is just continue painting and just do it you know maybe get your music playing classical whatever whatever and then you go for let's say 45 minutes and then you allow 15 minutes to clean up and then you get started with your day like your day right that's the idea I just came up with that like a couple days ago literally and so am I gonna do it no but why because I value my sleep like I don't I don't know and then and this is why some people are successful while others are just trying to play catch up and I'm trying to get to a point where I just consistently do what I say I I am going to do even if it's something that I don't want to do and what I find is now this podcast you know there have been times where I've fallen off because life got in the way but I am committed to this podcast. I'm committed to speaking to my friends abroad, people that I've met. This is my way to connect with you, to have a continuous conversation, keep it going. If we're not always going to be on the phone, we're not always going to be chatting. This is my way to do that so you can know what's going on in my head and my mind and to know that you're not alone too in your thoughts when you have those moments, right? But I also want to make this podcast something that's edifiable, edifiable, edifying, edifying, and actually have a specific topic each day instead of just like my mind. And so what I notice, even too with this podcast, it is based off of emotion, just like my music, my art and everything else is based off of emotion. It's not based off of a commitment to to inspiration, if you get what I'm saying. I'm committed to feeding Sonia because I'm committed to being her mother. I'm committed to making sure that she has the best, making sure that she stays alive. When it goes back to me, Tiffany, how am I committing to myself? How am I committing to the people that I've connected? Huh? That's the big question. So that's what I'm trying to figure out as I go forward. Now, I'm so grateful, so thankful for motherhood because it does make me ask these questions, makes me double back. And regroup and figure out what is it that you want to do with your life. And if she does help me get to some sense of stability and consistency and a focus to a way where it's quantifiable, maybe if that's the word, maybe it's for it to be quantifiable in you, you're able to see like she, I see the streamline. I see where she's going. Right. So perhaps that starts with a plan. And the plan could be behind the scenes. I plan for a week of activities, stuff, whatever the case may be. And then whether it be the next week or maybe a month ahead, right? 
I say, I'm going to launch it a month from now. And this is how I'm going to launch this week's of stuff. This is the week of boom. And I could do it like that. Maybe just a week at a time. I'm, I'm kind of like spitball right now. A week at a time. I can say, this is the focus this week. This is the content. And it gives me enough time to where the next week I can do the same thing. Or even if I need two weeks from there just to have a break. And then the week after I say, this is my focus. So now as you guys are following, you're not necessarily following in real time, right? But you're following, let's see, because I've created something for you. And then we can interact later on in real time based on the, on the content that was there. So those are my thoughts. What do you think about that? Get at me. Let me know. You can comment. I believe on Spotify. You should be able to comment if you do follow. Thank you to the followers that are there. And um, or you can hit me up online. Let me know. All right. Y'all take care. That was another edition of 10 Minutes with Tiffany J. I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. I know I did. Now you can get more episodes on my website at www.misstiffanyj.com. But don't stop there. Hop on over to the music tab and check out your favorite Tiffany J record, starting with my latest singles, Work For It and Call Me, which is on all digital platforms. Also with a bomb video showcase on YouTube featuring the Queen City, Charlotte, North Carolina. <laughs>